tuning in. My name is Rob and I would like to introduce you to a very useful plugin that um, is available for GIMP which you might be able to make use of and it's called Liquid Rescale. It's available free and I have a link to it in the show notes for this video and um, before I uh, show you where to get it from um, what I like to do is tell you about the two things that it addresses two uh, major functions that it that it addresses that it will do for you the first thing it helps you with is scaling an image I have an image here that's um, 1280 by 960 now imagine that I want to keep the 1280 dimension but I don't want it to be 960 tall anymore I want it to be 600 so I want to rescale this to uh, 1280 by 600 so I'm going to do is I'm going to make a, a copy of this layer I'm not going to work on this one switch that off I'm going to work on this one layer scale layer break the chain so these two numbers are not linked keep the 1280 make that 600 press scale now that's great that's just the shape of uh, image that I want but straight away you you notice a problem the whole of the landscape is stretched out um, that might not be too much of a problem because if you didn't see the original you perhaps won't notice that so much but what you would notice is this object this lighthouse it's, it's all stretched out and the aspect ratio of the object itself has been changed along with the image so it doesn't look natural so I've just done a rescale with this tool liquid rescale on another copy of that layer um, I'll go through and show you that in a second uh, for the other features that it's good at and then we don't have to go through the dialogue twice so this is the layer that I used uh, the applied the liquid rescale to and as you can see every, all the proportions of the image is still more or less the same still got plenty of sky still got plenty of water and this time though the lighthouse is still in the more or less in the original proportion that it was in the in the original image uh, if I switch the if I switch that off that's you're now looking at the layer that I rescaled with the standard tool um, scale layer tool and this is the liquid rescale this is what liquid rescale did so you can see that's much better however this is what this plugin is really really good at imagine I want to remove this lighthouse completely I want to keep the picture more or less as it is but I want to remove the lighthouse now there are already a couple of standard ways of uh, dealing with this first of all you could use the clone brush and you could try to clone areas of the image that are adjacent to the lighthouse into the region where the lighthouse is but it's a kind of hit and miss and you would have to spend quite a lot of time getting the uh, ground to match up and um, making sure that it's it, it all blends in seamlessly another way is to use the heel tool um, which uh, is quite effective but for very small areas blemishes on skin stuff like that this actual area of the image is too large to use those tools on and certainly too large to use those tools on do it quickly so let's have a look and see what liquid rescale makes of it I've got the layer selected I'm actually going to make a copy of that layer work on my copy switch that one off um, layer liquid rescale open the log as you can see we get a preview now I'm going to keep the um, image size the same uh, for the moment I'm not going to touch that uh, what I'm concerned with now is telling what feature to discard. I want to use this, the discard features. So if I press this button here, keep your eye on the um, on my layers dialog. It will create from 
a new layer transparent and it's going to use that as a mask it's changed my foreground color to red so if I pick up my brush just move this dialog out of the way and if I was to just make that brush a little bit smaller that's cool and if I was to if I now paint over this lighthouse I've got the mask selected that it's liquid rescale has created for me not forgetting of course to uh, get rid of the reflection in the water I don't have to be accurate don't have to be totally accurate I can go over the edges I'm just indicating to, to liquid rescale what element I want to get rid of so that's been painted on that mask there's the layer we're working on if there were some more objects I wanted to get rid of, I'd paint those too. Hit OK. Sorry, you can't see that. Uh, hit OK. And there we go. Just switch off on layers behind so you can see. Pretty much vanished. Well, vanished. There's the original. And there's the vanished version. So if you think that plugin is going to be useful to you, it's certainly useful giving it a try. You might want to add it to your armory of plugins. Um, you can get that at liquidrescale.wiki.com. Um, link to it is in the show notes. And when you visit the page, remember there's a, there's actually a really good uh, manual, which I'll show you coming up and it describes how to work with the tool for doing feature preservation and the uh, feature discard I showed you the feature discard um, but there's also the feature preservation which is when you want to rescale the image but some elements of it you want to keep um, so that they don't change, they don't get stretched out or compressed um, and incidentally it also has a inter an interactive mode, so a dialogue that you can keep up while you're working on your image um, to, um, to resize the image as you go. Okay, so that's all there is for that. Uh, remember there's a great number of features to that plugin, so it's definitely worth a try. Download it, give it a try. Okay, thanks for tuning in. See you next time. Bye.